it's Snickers and Chris. I am back. Yes, I am back with another video today for you guys. Another sneaker review. The Jordan 13 White Lucky Green. I'll give you guys a clo closer up look. Turn it around. All right, so before going over the shoe, as always, I just want to say thank you guys. For those who's watching right now, I appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe. Smash that like button if you like what I do. And comment below. Let me know what you guys like and what I should improve in my video. Or what I, sh I should say more. more. What details should I say more in the video. And those who've been subscribed and watched my previous videos, I appreciate it. It comes a long way. And we're going to keep growing. I appreciate it and let's get to this video. Jordan 13 retro white look lucky green black size 8 this is a size 8 retail was 190 this is a men's size GS 140 toddler from well, preschool $80 and toddler $60 if I'm wrong correct me but yes full family size so the whole family could get it husband get it for the wife and kids so y'all could twin it up match it up Okay, now with the shoe itself, the Air Jordan 13 White Lucky Green. So, before going into it, I'm going to give you guys a little detail if you guys are not, not sure of it yet. But this is kind of a remake, like a 2.0. Yes. Um, Back then, in 2011, I believe, if I'm wrong, correct me. But Jordan released a Ray Allen version of this. And that was the first version. And I guess he just redropped it for the new generation that... Or the old generation that for the people that couldn't get it back then now they could get it and for the new generation they could ha also have it so that's kind of a good good thing he did even though some people don't like when jordan remake things over and over same color but it's for a purpose you know it's for a purpose for him it's for a purpose for us for the new generation to get it because yeah the reality is probably hard to get and rare to find sizes unless you're buying off like stock x i market or go and stuff like that but starting on the shoe, they kept it really simple. There's not much to say, and it's not like nothing crazy. Okay, so we got that white leather all around the shoe. Um, This type of texture, I'm not sure what it's called, but if you guys do know, let me know in the comment. If you guys can see. But you guys know how the 13s usually be. Let me know what type of texture is this. But it's pretty smooth. I know it's some type of leather. But aside from the white, you see a little green with a Jumpman sign on the tongue. Um, Behind the Jumpman, the tongue is black with the um sizing tag. Going around, it's black right here on the, like a heel tab. Going down green all around the shoe, the bottom of the shoe green like that boston celtic green you know what stands out the most of the sh like for the shoe i'll say is the the hologram sign right here the 23 jordan right here i think that's the best part of the 13s it brings it brings something different and i feel like most like sneaker heads that's the reason why they like like they like 13s or they like this particular release but that's just because of this it it stands out you know okay now going to the so 
you got a whole mixture of the whole shoe white some green some black with a, another hologram side right here but in green and with the black jump matter so overall he, like i said he kept it simple oh i forget the um jordan green and black right here little tag right here and he gave us some white laces i'm not sure let me check the box no extra laces no extra laces so just the white laces that's fine i don't think he should have given another laces green laces on these nah, nah, i'll say nah let's go with the white laces let me know if you think they should have thrown in some um green laces or something or is that too much comment below your opinion on them but overall yeah this this shoe um i'm not a big 13s fan i'm just put it out there um i'm not keeping these and I'm, it's not gonna be to collection and it's not gonna be to the toe i'm not a 13 fan um my the favorite 13s i'll probably be like i should have kept or should have went for it was the flint 13s but i couldn't get my size but that's the only 13s i like i like i want to wear and i want to keep my collection i'll probably get it later but aside from that i'm not a big fan of 13 but there's nothing wrong with that that's that's what that's my liking you guys may love 13s i mean that might be our favorite but that's a pass for me i don't really go crazy but i'm gonna tell you guys that now if you guys do love 13s it does look better in person like the green on look uh, on the pictures on different pictures look kind of like different like you some pictures will see like a light green some pictures will see a dark green but this is a perfect just think of the celtics green it looks good but for me i just want to wear it but it looks good let me know what you guys think did you guys cop are you guys keeping these is it going to the toe or the collection or what you guys doing with these all right guys before ending the video you already know we have to do a rating a scale one to ten on the 13s these 13 for myself i'll give them um a seven just because I'm not a 13s fan. But overall, it's, it looked nice. But if it didn't look nice, I would like probably give it a six or a five. But this, it looked nice, so I'm gonna give it a seven. But I don't like 13s, so that's why. Let me know what you guys think in the comment. What's your rating, one to 10? You guys rocking them, let me know. Tag me so I can see how y'all rocking them. I know these gonna look good on feet. So on the 13s, we usually have 3M reflective around the shoe. You can see a little outline right here, the 3M reflective. I'm not sure if you guys can see it through the video. But if you guys have it, try it, put a flash on, you guys can probably see it. But this is the 13s for you guys that released September 26th this weekend. Hope you guys copped. All right, guys, that is it. For the video today, the Air Jordan 13 Retro White Luck Lucky Green 2.0 Ray Allen. Which one you guys like better, the Ray Allen or the new version, the 2.0? This question probably for the the old sneaker heads, the old school heads. I already know, I already probably had a pair of the Ray Allens, but the new generation, the new sneaker heads probably know too. But which one you guys prefer, the first version or the second version? Let me know. But we are wrapping it up. The Thank you guys for watching if you guys still watching i appreciate it make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet if you did smash that like button if you guys like what i'm doing and yeah sneakers and chris and i am out